our CFO put us on a very tight leash as well on that one. Um, so that that's um, in terms of the expenses, we try to control so that um, even there is an increment because it's unavoidable. Yeah, it's at a manageable level. But the other way of us managing our cost to income ratio is to uh, drive the income side. Yeah, because there are two ways that you can drive down the cost to income ratio. Either you reduce the cost or you increase the income. So our focus um, at at cost level is managing the cost. Yeah, we don't have restructuring GSS and, and that sort. That has been a decision made by the management and the board. Um, but the income is the one that, that we focus on uh, to increase. That's why if you covered the, the briefings that we had done earlier and we which we have followed through uh, for this year is uh, in terms of uh, pushing the uh, what we call the non-fund-based income, the fee-based type of income. Uh, to be higher uh, using the existing uh, resources that we have. Uh, in a way that is reflective of, uh, for example, in one of the slides, we do show our non-fund-based income level. Previously in the past, it was below 9%. Uh, for this first half of the year, it's already at 10.6%. Yeah? Uh, so these are the things that, you know, whatever increase at that level, it goes straight to your bottom line, increasing your profitability. Um, so that, that is our way of managing our cost-to-income ratio.